Hi everybody, uh, welcome to Pioneer Chat. This is where we take pioneers in the edtech community. They're doing really cool things inside and outside the classroom and we bring them on and have them talk about what they're up to. And today I'm here with William Chamberlain, who is a sixth grade teacher. How's it going, uh, Will? It's going great. Not bad for a Monday. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so listen, I want to, to hear more about um, you know the comments for uh, kids hashtag that you were telling me about earlier. Can you tell everyone about that? You bet. So in 2009, a couple friends and I were on Twitter and I was bemoaning the fact that it was really difficult to get people to pay attention to tweets about student blogs and to try to get them to comment. And um, between a couple of us, we came up with this idea of a hashtag and so we started comments for kids. And so what, what we um, like to see is teachers or parents or students even um, put out the URL on with, uh, with a hashtag on Twitter and um, that allows people to, to see what uh, they're doing and then leave some encouraging comments. Yeah, I, I bet that sounds like amazing. Um, you know, the, the other thing that you mentioned was also the student reflections that you're doing. Um, I thought that was a very interesting way of doing it because it's also using social media. Can you uh, tell everyone about that as well? Absolutely. Um, well, what I decided I really wanted to do this year was focus on reflection. Reflection's always been something I, I had in the back of my mind is very important for students um, to, to keep thinking about what they're learning as they're learning it. And so this year I decided I wanted to um, try to get them to reflect using uh, some video as they went um, through their, the class day. And so I set up a Tumblr blog and um, got a couple of um, uh, video recording devices, an iPad and a Nexus 7 in my iPhone. And what the kids can do is throughout the day, they can grab one of those and they can uh, do a video reflection of what they're learning right there and upload it to Tumblr. And, and it's not really so much for the sharing online as it is for them having to think about what they're doing while they're doing it and kind of internalize it. It's kind of a fun way to encourage them to do that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I guess uh, that kind of leads me to my last question, which is, you know, what, what would you like to see? Um, you know, like what, what technologies would you like to see be available to you and your students, um, you know, that would help them connect with, you know, the outside world and you know, be able to reflect and, uh, you know, receive criticisms from the, uh, from other people around the world. Yeah, I think to me, I would love to see my students have the opportunity to uh, um, use the tools that they, they find themselves comfortable with, whether it's a, a smartphone or a laptop or an iPad. I, I would like for them to have that opportunity to choose between, between those uh, hardware um, examples. The software is, to me, is not as important because there's so many different choices, whether they choose to share through Instagram or through Twitter or through or Google+. Plus. It's, that's not the point. The point is that they can find a community they feel comfortable in and start sharing that way. And I think that those um, connections that they, they can make globally will help help them decide locally what they want to do and where they want to go. That's great. Well, thank, thanks for coming on. Um, where can everyone find you on the Internet? Um, you can find my class blog at nolltigers.com. I have my comments for kids blog is comments for kids, uh, the number four. Uh, dot blogspot.com and I do my um, professional reflections at at the teacher desk dot blogspot.com great well thanks a bunch for coming on and uh, we'll see you guys next time right, thanks for having me